Good morning all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is a very rainy Wednesday morning. I guess it's going to be a long rainy drive back to the beach. So I just had my two meetings. Well, I had one meeting. I went to the second meeting only to find out that that guy no longer works there. This place is cursed. I'm not shitting you. This is the ninth person in this position since I took the account over last April, not this past April, the April before. Every time I come in here, literally every time I come in here, I'm told, oh, he no longer works here. I mean, it is crazy. So anyways, that means I'm, I'm done. I'm done for the day uh, other than driving back. So I'm heading to first watch now to have breakfast. I'm pretty hungry. I still kind of have a headache from last night. I was up until, I don't know, like two before I finally just made myself shut everything off and go to sleep. And, um, and I think I slept all right. Haven't checked the app to let me know for sure, but yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for today. It's just gonna be me in the car in the rain, screaming and road raging. So I just thought I'd uh, get up and wish y'all a good morning. So for now, we're gonna go eat and then we'll see what happens on the way. I managed to get through the tunnel with no traffic. It's only 2.30. So, I mean, it, it helped that, that I got here so early, and I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm still going to go the back way. I'm turning off the highway right now because I just, I don't know, I just prefer to go this way. It's so much more scenic. It has been an interesting couple of days of travel because it has gone back and forth in the blink of an eye between hardcore rain and sunshine. I don't know if I have any packages or not. I know I have one, but it's not for me, it's for my wife. I've got some stuff that's coming in, but I don't think it's coming in today. I think it might be coming in tomorrow, and, and then there's some shit that has no time when it's coming in. So, you know, the typical uh, monkey way of, there's just shit coming in all the time. Half the time I don't know what it is because I buy too much crap. Okay, kids. Here we are back in the studio where all the magic happens. And what I've done is I have taken one of the many mounting devices that I have in the magical drawers. This is a GoPro. It's almost like a single stick gorilla pod leg that, that's on a clamp here. Let me just show you. It basically just clamps wherever you clamp it. I put one of my many Arca type plates onto it. One of the bad things about it is that it is wobbly as shit and anytime I move it it goes like that yeah see just doing that shaking on the floor made it wobble a little bit so I've been home for a few hours now I just had my dinner it's 7 30 I have sort of been running around like a chicken without a head when I come home I immediately unpack everything put everything back the way that I like it so that I don't miss anything or forget anything a very important thing here. I found the magnet. Yes, it had fallen into my man purse and I didn't see it because it went way to the bottom underneath all of the additional shit that I have in that bag. And then when I got home, I was like, okay, I checked my boots just to see if it had fallen in and stuck to an eyelet. I checked the inside of my pants to see if it was stuck to the zipper or the, you know any of the snaps or buttons on my shirt. I never found it. So I thought, all right, last ditch effort. Let's see if it's stuck to something on the bag because there's a lot of rivets and zippers and buckles and shit. And I didn't find anything on the outside. I swear to Zeus, I went through each and every little pocket and nook and cranny in there. And the very last spot that I looked, it was sitting down there. It's only just this teeny ass little square magnet. I lucked out. But it makes sense that it fell in there because it literally was not anywhere on me or on the floor. And I'm just thinking, how far could it go? It's a white floor at the restaurant. So thank Zeus I found it. Now I don't have to go out and buy another thing. I mentioned that tomorrow is delivery day for all of my new appliances. And I got an email telling me it's a window between 12 and 4. Tomorrow morning, I will go through and remove all the magnets, take everything off the top of the fridge. I already moved a lot of shit over onto the kitchen table. And, oh, you know, I really don't know what to do. There's a lot of stuff that is in the freezer. All my popsicles that I got, you know, we have a lot of frozen food. I don't want to throw it all away, but I'm not really sure, you know, what can be done <clears throat> short of them moving that fridge out of the way, plugging the new one in so it gets going. And then 
you know, have them do that first and then they can move on to the overhead microwave and the dishwasher and all that stuff. So it starts to cool and I can at least throw most of my food into that you know, as fast as I can. I'm not too worried about the stuff in the fridge, but I didn't realize that we had as much stuff in the freezer that I don't want to throw away. Some stuff's been in there forever and needs to be pitched anyways, because I'm sure it's freezer burnt shit now, but what can you do? And, and, and again, I'll throw the most important things that I can't put in there that need to be frozen-ish or cooled and put them into the igloo cooler and I'll have the ice packs in it. And we'll see what happens. So uh, nothing exciting today. Again, I, it was just driving back. I'm just gonna wrap this up right now because again, it's already like 25 to eight and I don't wanna be doing this like I was last night. Sorry about that because it doesn't show that I posted that video until today. That's because as usual, the Wi-Fi in the hotel sucked ass and it took an hour for that video to upload. Wham. So I need to get this shit done right now. Here, that's all you're gonna get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.